Okay, yo, what is up, everybody? Single one seven seven here, and this is my first time recording on my new phone. Yeah, the the graphics are very sharp, you know. But today I wanted to talk about something. So I heard the news yesterday that Scott Cawthon is retiring. He's gonna he's gonna uh, retire pretty soon, or that's what he said. So he's gonna stop working as much as. He used to and get to have fun with his family now. Or get together with his kids. Like, I'm happy for him. But it's just, it just breaks me down knowing that. I mean, I know, I mean, some everybody retires at some point. Like, the fact that uh, the biggest YouTubers that we have on the platform right now. Like, let's say, Dan TDM. PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, all of those. Those are the main ones I know. Mr. Beast. So pretty much those, they're gonna retire one day. And I don't know how it's gonna work on YouTube. Is somebody gonna take over their channel for them? Or is there just gonna be one last goodbye video? But, but anyways, like... You know what I mean, but Scott Cawthon is retiring pretty soon. That's what he said. I heard the news yesterday. Believe me, I would have... I didn't know Scott Cawthon was retiring. Because I didn't... So, I didn't know he has two YouTube channels. One is called Scott Cawthon, of course. And the other one is called, like, Scott's World or something like that. The one with, like, uh... The Candy Cadet... That always talks. Uh, there's that channel. Which I discovered yesterday as well. Discovered it around noon. Around 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I'm pretty broken. That Scott Colton is going to be retiring soon. But like I said. I'm happy for him. That he's going to be able to spend time with his kids. Spend time with his family. You know. But the thing is. I've been. Playing Five Nights at Freddy's like ever since I saw Markiplier playing it and I've been subscribed to Markiplier around 2015 as well and that's a pretty long time that's that's around the time Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was made 2015 and yeah it's been it's been a good run having Scott with us and I just want to say I'm happy for him and because I've played so many of his Five Nights at Freddy's games. I've beat Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted on the Nintendo Switch. I can't afford the VR. I don't have a house big enough as my cousins or any of my other family members. It's because the, both of their parents always work but I don't have a house big enough for that. You know, we have two dogs. Only my dad works. My dad works on cars. Sometimes he asks me to help him, but you know. So I don't have a house big enough for the VR version. But I did beat the Five Nights of Freddy's VR Help Wanted in this Nintendo Switch. And also, back in 2016, or 2017, around that time, I also never beat Night 6. I, I beat... Night 5, but I never, was never able to beat Night 6 on 5 Nights at Freddy's 1. That's a memory I will always remember. And the reason I think I'm also a small influence on the 5 Nights at Freddy's community is because, you know, I've made a little bit, I've made some videos about 5 Nights at Freddy's before in the past, I'm pretty sure. And now I'm making one right now. I'm talking about Scott retiring and all that. But I'm pretty for I'm pretty sure it's stressful and heart breaking for everybody, including for me. Cause whenever I play the Five Nights at Freddy's role play game on Roblox now, now I'm just whenever I see any characters, now I just think of Scott, you know. And you know Scott, he was one of my favorite game developers. Five Nights at Freddy's was always a big thing to me as a kid. And scary thing. 
like the original music video that used to scare me all the time. I don't know why. But it's been really good having Scott by our side. But maybe he'll come back in the future or maybe it's only a temporary temporarily retirement. I don't think so, but maybe he's keeping secrets to himself. The secrets from us. I mean, we don't know that, you know? But. It's just really hard. For everybody. And the thing is, Markiplier. You know, the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. He still hasn't made a video reacting to this news. And I'm just here to give you guys news. That I got this information late. And I got recommended this late. On YouTube but yeah I hope Scott does have a good vacation good retirement with his kids he said he'll be making games with for his kids and I hope he'll be happy over his retirement uh, that's pretty much about Scott but yeah I never beat Five Nights at Freddy's 1 I never beat Night 6 the original game. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I only got up to Night 4 or Night 5. The 3. I don't think I ever played. I didn't play the 4. The 5. Or any of those above. But the last Five Nights at Freddy's game is. Security Breach. But Scott will probably. Continue to work on these games. You know. He'll probably continue to work on them. But not as much as he used to. And I'm all still new to this. I mean, he's got a fandom website. I still need to figure out what this is. I mean, I'm new to this Scott thing and all of his stuff. If I knew about this sooner, I literally would have been caught up with everything, you know? But too bad I'm not caught up. And I didn't know he had a second channel. Sometimes I think it... It was it me that I wasn't really looking for this information or was it I don't know I'm pretty sure some other people I feel bad for some other people who will find this later on who will find this like much much later later but yeah it's just really hard because like I said whenever I look at a character I just think of Scott and then Scott retiring and then Scott's not going to be here anymore. He's not going to be here making games anymore. But about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Maybe he'll still be making. Like getting ideas. For his development team or stuff like that. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Because I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like I'm not caught up like. Any other Five Nights at Freddy's YouTubers. I'm just a regular 15 year old teenager. He's about to turn 16 on July 6th. Like, I'm just a regular 15-year-old teenager that doesn't know much about this. And that uh, nobody knows much about me either. But I do deserve more recognition on my channel. But that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, so literally the topic of this video is just Scott retiring. And everybody being broken about it. So. I just want to say one last thing. Scott if you do ever watch this. I hope you stay happy. While you're in retirement. And uh. I hope you do have fun with your kids. And make great projects. I mean you made a huge impact. Not on. Just Five Nights at Freddy's. You made a huge impact on the world. Like, he made an impact on the world, guys. Like, this is just great. Finance of phrase. Like, it. Just the fact that it exists, you know? The fact that he made it. Not even just a one, just a two, three, four, and he kept on going. Even VR. You know, it's amazing. So, that's pretty much all I had to say. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is so successful. 
like on the world. A great project, a great game. So Scott, you really did do something to change the world and to change us. So I just want to say thank you, Scott, because you did something great for all of us. And I hope you, we all do something great for you too. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Single 177, out.